What's up, everybody? Brett here, and we're back today playing some more Fantasy Generals 2. Alright, it's my YouTube channel, Good Talk Gaming. And, yeah, let's jump in. So, Krell's Tower. The ruins of Krell's Tower are rumored to be somewhere in this area. So, guys, as has been happening to me a lot lately, and it's been super frustrating, but I had some interruptions once I got into this mission. So, this mission, just a heads up, I got it like an hour and ten minutes in. And I don't even know if I was halfway done. This is a long one. And because of that, I ended up having to like cut it short. So I think what I'm going to do is, let me actually check my timer real quick. Boom. Okay, I know what time it is now. I'm going to try and go for an hour. And this is going to be like a part one, part two type thing. So, which is good because man, this game is, is so... This mission especially is very tedious. And you'll understand what I mean as we get into it. There's a lot of terrain there's a lot of ambushing and it's you know I don't want to spoil it all for you but basically an hour in and we'll barely have touched certain major plot points so whew, take a deep breath and yeah let's jump on in get ready for my terrible voice acting so Archmage Krell the great hero of the Shadow Wars built his tower around here it fell when the cataclysm turned the area into the sunken lands and everything into rubble but the Empire suspects a powerful magical weapon is still hidden there. So you have to get there before they do. Ulnar says, We have trudged through this might-ridden swamp for days now. I am getting scunnered, and so are our warriors. Give me another swig of that bottle. Don't you think you've had enough to drink? You have not put down that bottle since we left Krell's Landing. You are not my mother, Elsa. I can drink when and where I want. You got your spirits to keep you company, and I got mine. Spare me your lectures, gobshite. Yeah, you don't... You don't call the, uh... The sister to the king a gobshite. That's going a little far there. Not to mention she's a spirit walker or whatever in her own right. So there are some gasps. And everyone looks at you. Will you chide Ulnar for his behavior privately? Let it go? Or call him out in front of everyone? Um, I think if we let it go, it hurts Ailsa. And I think if we call him out in front of everyone, it hurts Ulnar. So what I did was, and I actually don't know that for a fact, but that's how I read into it. So what I did was chide him privately uh, for his behavior. And I say, Ulnar, this is no way to behave. The warriors are looking at you for inspiration, and you need to set an example. I will not have you speak to my sister like this again. Get yourself together, or you are of no use to me. You are right, and I am sorry for my words. Tell Elsa I didn't mean them. It's the whiskey talking. Let me clear my head and we can set off. It shan't happen again. I know we all hate this swamp, and you're wary from the march, but we have to press on. Once we find Krell's tower, we can leave this place behind. Search the area, and look out for the lizard folk. They can hide in the waters here. Another thing that happened that kind of annoyed me was, I raided a bunch of those glowing blue uh, lizard nests, and I kept getting, like, garbage items, which felt really bad. And this game has the option to save scum quite a bit if you want. And I say save scum, that's a term that other people like to use. I like to consider it as like optimizing a game that should have kind of been optimized this way in the first place. Um, but especially if you're a guy with not a lot of time and you just kind of want to role play to the max. Sometimes you just, you know, you get a, like a great item and then you re-roll and you get three liquid mana and you're like, man, that was super worth it. But I don't think I'm going to be doing any of that. Uh, at least I will be trying not to. Dougal says, I think we are getting close. The tower must be here somewhere. Our warriors are tired, and the fumes from this swamp make it hard to breathe. We are exhausted and cannot go much further. We must persevere. I know this is hard on all of you, but we shan't be beaten by this swamp. And now we're exhausted. Okay. So I have a pretty good memory of like how I put everyone last time. And we'll see if I can do something similar. If we want to give him some big boys. Something like that, maybe. Go here. Here. Mm, here. It's hard to remember exactly where I put everyone. Okay, let's get those, uh, those cleavers over here. They ended up coming quite in handy at a certain point. You know what? No, no, no. Put them there. 
Elsa can go there. Now, the Shield Maiden sadly ended up being kind of decorative. Uh, it's very hard to get them in the right spots. Hmm. You know what? Something like this. Yeah. The wolves actually came in handy quite a bit. So, tracking is an ability that I didn't make a lot of use of until this exact, um particular mission here. We're gonna we're gonna find quite a lot of use for it. Something like this maybe. Happy to have enough of these hurlers that we can kind of give every single group one. Uh Wolf Mother here. She's all terrain. We just want to make sure we have enough melee, we have enough range to deal in case we have to deal with any flyers. And give them the calf, give them double wolves. Troll charger, let's give them one here. Give them some really strong frontliners. Two ways to hit the air. Go here, here, Elsa here. Is that perfect? I don't think so. But we're gonna we're gonna get into it now. All right. In deployment, forty-five region wealth. So poisonous fog. It's kind of easy to avoid walking into it, for the most part, unless you find yourself being chased. But if we step into it, we get diseased, which makes us more likely to suffer kills. So against you know single target units, it's not really a big deal. It's all about movement right now and making the most of our movements. All right, this actually worked out perfectly. And they can bring up the rear. Nice. That was a very uh, good and concise series of movements. I like that a lot. Just briefly check out how everyone else can move. All right, we were ambushed. I think there's probably a lot of stuff here. And we have mana, which we should definitely use. And I'm going to use it on Spirit Vision, actually. And I found Spirit Vision to be incredibly helpful. Because what it does is it reveals these units. That are hidden. So we see here there's a Witch Doctor. And now the Witch Doctor can't ambush us if it would have been able to at all in the first place. Move down, move down. Okay. So we've got some serious choices here. Bear in mind how easy it is for these things to retreat from us. The 33% chance, but there's two of them. I don't think there's a way we can make it so that we kill both of them. Let's skirmish these things. These, uh, newts. Should probably learn their names. For sure. Okay, our biggest problem is that we, uh, we're not getting the surround bonus. Alright, cursed them. Curse of, does damage reduction, which is great. Alright, no retreat, so we get the kill. Hopefully no retreat here. And we've nearly got them dead. Now, the Witch Doctor is very interesting because it has the ability to make mirror images. It also does a decent amount of damage. Um, so mirror images, it makes two copies of itself and then randomly switches places with them. The mirror images can be killed by a single blow, uh, but they can all use like his abilities. And he also has the ability to petrify. Which is super annoying. Now also, like I said, I've done this before. I know that there are ruins out here. Oh, we got ambushed again. Okay. See how far we can march down. 
And we may actually send our wolf mother and our wolves out to go and deal with that. Last time, I sent my wolves, and it ended up being kind of harsh. Let's send these wolves out to here. And I did that because the wolves aren't honestly all that useful in most other situations. Of course, I can't reach here. We'll just park ourselves there. We may as well attack. Even if they retreat, we're still not standing in disease land. Ah, and we revealed these big guys. Okay, well, we're going to have to make it there next turn. So these summon wolves can take the brunt of these ancestors for us. And then we'll do some magical damage, which is really effective against them. And we'll take them down and take these ruins. So just a constant stream of summoning wolves, I think, is going to be pretty useful. Uh, because there will be a point where we're able to generate a little bit more mana. Alright, has anyone not moved yet? So this is a point where we could do the whole tracking thing, but I don't I don't think there's any anybody around us. Just roll the dice here. Yeah, and Ulnar is gonna take some hits. If he wasn't standing in the swamp, he'd be much much better off, I think. I don't know I don't remember how much armor he actually has naturally. Oh, they petrified our guys. That's no good. They're, the guys, they're super annoying. You gotta kill them with range. And there we go. Summon units taking the damage for us. They did quite a bit as well. Go down here. Go down here. Get that ranged attack first. Let those wolves take the hit. And then get in there. So we'll take this ruin next turn. I like this a lot. This is way more surgical than my last uh, attempt. So for two turns, they can't do anything. It's basically what we're looking at here. Needless to say, incredibly annoying. Uh, because they are our frontliners, after all. So at some point, you kind of have to deal with them. Like, you, you really can't ignore them. Because they'll, they'll just keep casting stuff on you. We'll hold off on attacking with them. I could try and get an attack off here. I think I'm mostly going to ignore them. I, I want him to come into melee with me. Let's move down one. Yeah, go get that kill, guys. There's a lot of dirty spiders down here. Get our hurlers in a good position to do some work. Bring Elsa down. Spear Maidens down. Okay. They, no, they can't reach way over there. Guys, there's a ton of junk over here. A ton. And I think if we just send Fallerson ahead and our trolls, we should be fine. See where everyone can reach. If they can. It'd be nice to get our Thane involved. Alright, that's considered planes. My problem would be if I got dragged into the muck there. Hmm. Let's get our thing closer. Bring the hurdler in. So yeah, like I was trying to articulate, I'm pretty sure whenever I did this last time, my thing went out into the wilderness here instead of the wolf mother. And I think she's just like clearly the better choice to do that with. Get the calf going. The calf has to stay on the road, which is kind of their biggest weakness. You almost have the kill there.
back here, get that frenzy going. If we get the kill, we're happy. I'm not happy to get diseased, but these are berserkers. So they already have Fueled by Rage 2. I'm not sure how much disease really matters other than small chance to spread it to nearby units. Which is not obviously not good. And then we'll bring our spear ladies down here. And I think we'll use scout to see what we can see. So there's a lizard hovel here and this shrine here is incredibly important. We want to get that. It boosts our speed by one. But this area is heavily defended. So we need to be super careful about that. Is anyone not gone? Also good to remember that in cases of emergency, we can always uh, force march them to increase their movement range. Alright, and that thing has regeneration too. Worth noting. Wow, petrified another unit. God, I hate them. I hate them so much. And it feels like we don't quite have the tools... To deal with them. See if we can harass him. Getting pretty dangerously close to that center area. I think we should be fine just to crush them like this. I want to bring my ranged units over here to try and help. It's not considered poisonous, so let's put them there. I'm trying to see how we can move. Can I get certain units out of the way? Yeah, perfect. See how strong they are? And we're just... We've barely been able to, to make use of them. I think something about their armor piercing is what makes them incredibly valuable. And now our berserkers are able to go. So, there's a ton of stuff in every direction, guys. If we keep moving this way, we're going to find some stuff. So instead, let's kind of take a little bit more of a circuitous, secure, circuitous route. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Come over here and explore these ruins, and we're going to get some gold for our trouble. Cool. I'm going to move here. I think there are some ruins over here that we're going to want to explore. Let's get our wolves kind of scouting. But of course, we do want to send in the dire wolves first. Uh, we can pop the tracking. Yeah, we're not able to see anything yet. And we'll pop it just because we have three wolves, so we can alternate tracking every single turn if we want. Okay, this area down here, though, is a bit trickier. Quite a bit trickier. So what we can do is we can actually spirit vision. You know, let's not spirit vision before we move her. Let's move her down. Spirit vision. And yeah, check this out. This is, I mean, this is not difficult stuff to learn. Like, as soon as we get into these lands and we started getting ambushed left and right, an undefended settlement is definitely not undefended. So, let's crush these things. No ambushes for you. Thankfully, our trolls can get down there. There are a few more villages south of here. People living in the swamp? Outcasts and bandits. They have been exiled from their clans and fled to the sunken lands where no one would follow. Okay. Now we've got the big boys in the party. That is not who I meant to move at all. That sucks. That was supposed to be these guys. I was pretty sure I'd clicked on them, but I guess not. Dang. Well. 
suck, I guess. Yeah, my bad. Huh. Clicked on the wrong wrong unit. Fallerson was supposed to go like here, and they were supposed to go there, take a shot, move in, kill them. Um, this is fine, though. Okay. The retreat there was actually pretty miserable. Because we didn't get a chance to raid. Dang it. Do a mighty roar. Why not? Lower their morale by one. Everyone else looks fine. Might as well throw out this attack. Oh, okay. That was super useful, actually. So a curse plus harass is minus 75% damage plus fear. So this guy does almost no damage. Wow, that's a powerful little combo there. Alright, they're going to move back in for the attack. The trolls are able to handle business a little bit. They just have, like, infinite mana, I guess. What can we really do against that? That was probably the worst turn order I could have done. We should have been able to kill this thing, I think, this turn. I shouldn't have moved them. That was a super mistake. I started thinking about other things. Man, I hate it. I hate it when I make mistakes like that. Totally avoidable. All right, there's some more ruins. Okay, let's start minimizing mistakes. That's a kill. Let's do that. Alright, and we leveled on Fallerson too, which is cool. We're getting attacked there, and we'll raid. And I'm going to bring these shield maidens over here. Keep moving south that way. Move here. And they're broken. Very good. So I feel like we could use some help here. Cav, unfortunately, just super sucks in the swamp. But let's move here. Start taking this land for ourselves. Move our wolfhounds here. We can always move them back this way. But there's another set of ruins. So there's two ruins here. Anything else? Nothing catastrophic has happened yet. I was kind of expecting to potentially lose. Oh wow, look how far he ran. Did he just... What did he just petrify? I was expecting to lose one of my trolls there, but it didn't happen. So I was thankful for that, is what I was trying to say. I don't think these units can hit air. Send the summon unit out to take that for us. Oh, man. All right, you dudes rest. All right, this is perfect. She actually just kills them. But she could go there and attack. You know what? Let's do this. Pretty smart from the AI just to prioritize our 
ranged units. God, we almost got him. Let's move forward a little bit slowly. There's tons of junk out here. Alright, and we have some big challenges ahead of us in this direction as well. Hmm. Move here, move here, move here. I don't know how worried we should be about the bats, really. We can hit them with these dudes. Okay. Well, that's nice to know. Very good. And we also leveled. Awesome. Okay. So they're rank 3. Okay, let's not forget also that uh, Fallerson also leveled. So we need to take care of that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is give him bigger pockets. He already has the toughness 2 aura from this item, and I can't see putting that on anyone else. It's just so good on him. So I'm not valuing this as highly, perhaps, as I should. I love the idea of giving him an additional artifact slot. Don't need a mercenary discount. If we need that, it's because we're losing. Uh, I would love to give him Thunder Hammer. Takes mana. It gives us armor piercing and damage. Hmm. Thunder Wave and Thunder Strike. I think I'm going to take the big pockets. A big pocket basically equals, like, a free ability. And we've got more items than we know what to do with right now, so we're going to make use of that. Send our wolves there. Almost guaranteed to find some enemies here. Track and see if there's anything in our immediate area. Doesn't look like it. Mutated Blood Oak. Okay, I kind of know where we are now. Like I said, I've, I've done this a little bit before. I have some general idea what's over here. Pretty important stuff. I'm being very careful about this front line because I think we're about to get ganked hardcore. And I really wish our units weren't petrified. But I think everyone's good to go. Alright, let's roll. Please let me kill the witch doctor. Stop petrifying my stuff. Alright, that hurt. Wow. They sent everything on us. Okay, so they were all hiding here. Honestly, guys, I might reload the autosave. Just to save my own time, like, I can't. I, ca I really can't be bothered to lose units like that. It's such a huge setback for us. Yeah. I, I don't want to do that. Um, I, I hate doing it in one way, and I'll do this quickly for everybody. I hate doing it in one sense because I feel like I'm gaining the system. I know these guys are here. Um, there's really very little reason for me to, like, sacrifice myself in that way. And the AI is very keen on focusing me. Now, I can't see... Like, what they're doing. I can't see it. Let's actually... Kill them with these guys. Maybe we can find a more efficient move here. Or a less efficient move, as it turns out. My idea was... Okay, I totally messed that up. Dang it. 
come down here and check things out. Let's level real quick. Pockets. Whip. Down here, attack. Get the cleavers in. So, I don't know, what was my point? It's just my idea is that I don't... I honestly just don't enjoy that type of play. Like, there's nothing I can do about that other than to attack in a coordinated fashion. Which is mostly what I'm trying to do. But there's, like... So imagine you're playing this game for the, this map for the first time, and this happened to me the first time. And you send down... I sent down, at, at the time, I think a troll charger. So these guys have 10 armor and 504 HP. I put them right here. And then six units came out, I think, five or six, and they all were able to hit him. And they killed him. And I was just like, what the hell? Because the, the AI doesn't normally hyper-focus you like that. So for it to kind of like do it all of a sudden, it just felt very cheap. Very cheap. And I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. Like I said, I apologize if it offends anybody's sense of fair play, and trust me, I understand. I also try to play everything to kind of the highest standard that I know I'm, I'm capable. But as soon as we cross this like threshold, they're just going to gank whoever steps forward first. So we want to kind of either move forward at the same time or scout them out with someone like Ailsa first. That way there's no, you know, surprise. Or hit them from a flank where they can't hit everybody. So like we have options, but it's going to slow us down. And that's... That's honestly half the reason why I wanted to kind of start over and do this again, uh, with a, a clear mind. Wow, look at this gank. For once we get a retreat, I didn't get like any retreats the last time I played this. And I got wrecked because of it. So they're all attacking here, to the east, which is interesting. So we can honestly, at this point, just send these summon wolves forward to try and scout for us. While these other wolves come back. A Thane has taken a heavy hit. Oh, man. Try and help them out as best we can. Happy to curse them. What we can do is charge for one extra movement. Kind of a slick move. Got to kill these things, though. We can attack without any penalty there. And those poor wolves are going to take a little bit of damage. I'm worried about my Thane. I know we can get the attack here and then get the kill. That leaves the Thane kind of vulnerable. Good thing for him though he's shielded these ones these uh warriors are definitely the bigger problem Let's go down here and attack them from at least the high ground See if we can't kill one of their models oh nice and we've got them routing okay that's great for us i think we're handling this okay God, guys, if we could get this kill. Ooh. Let's be very careful about how we proceed down here. Because I remember there being quite the surprise in store.
Lots of petrified units. Please, guys. They, they're so out of position. If they can get this kill, that would just be amazing. I hate them so much. I should have done that first. And if they would have run this way, we might have been able to get an attack off on them. Oh, God. Fighting the Lizardmen is quite challenging. Now, we can do some more Spirit Vision nonsense. Okay, nothing here. So the AI doesn't have a lot of good options. They retreated there. They're going to get a little... Some attacks off on us here. They had a lot of dudes waiting in the wings. Look how many of them there are. Just don't petrify me, bro. And they did it. They petrified me again. Move forward one, get the kill. Land that attack. Come in from the forest. Do the harassment first. forward here. Alright, bring them back down. Okay, our Berserkers are in kind of a tough spot. I'd honestly rather have them here than the Thane. Maybe we can let the Thane rest. Never mind. They can't retreat more than once per turn. Oh, nice. Get in there, wolves. So I'd very much love to come over here and get these ruins. Maybe we'll get some mana very soon and we can start summoning stuff. Troll hurlers, definitely the best for dealing with those incredibly annoying units. Kind of in the way right now, though. Let's actually build a war camp here. And we'll fortify with Ailsa. Like I said, I got a general idea of what's over there, and it's terrifying. I see some lizard pools. Yeah, don't for a second think that's undefended. And those wolves are dead. But they did some serious scouting for us. We have an explorer that we can use. Or a scout, rather. Anyone hasn't gone yet. Use track to try and see an invisible unit if there's any around us. I don't think there are. It would be great if their regeneration can keep going while they're petrified. Our Berserkers are going to need a good rest after this. We needed to kill that Witch Doctor thing a long time ago. I 
I don't even know where it is anymore. I have no idea. There it is. I didn't know how close it was, but it's the Devourer. I can zoom in on this thing. 420 HP, 8 armor, giant bone sword. Yeah. Quite strong. Get ourselves in a position to defensively fire. And our Brotherhood is going to be the ones that have to do the majority of the damage. They do have anti-large, basically. Hmm. See, what kind of surround can we get? You rest. And here we go. So this is what I wanted to get to before we ended today's episode. Over there, the big ruins. That must be Krell's tower. It looks like it was torn asunder by a terrible force. Can you make out anything other than rubble? There is something climbing around in the ruins. Catch him and bring him here. A gaunt man in the mended and patched robes of a transmuter and wearing a satchel filled with scrolls is brought before you. He blinks confusedly, then bla- <laughs> Then blouse. Blouse, not a word. Then bows deeply and conjures up a smile that does not reach his eyes. Barbarians. Here. What a fortuitous meeting. He is one of those imperial sorcerers. Let me kill him right here before he bewitches us. We will see about that. Who are you and what is your business here? He's already joined our party, so. This is Dalos the Trickster. Dalos, your lordship. They call me Dalos. I am nothing but an explorer seeking to learn more about the world. I don't think he is entirely truthful with us. You would have me believe an Imperial Transmuter is wandering these ruins alone in search of knowledge? Imperial Trans... Ah! No. I have left the Order a long time ago. I am but a humble scholar now, Your Excellency. This dude is cold-blooded, I can already tell. He said, do not call me that. So you left the Transmuters. Why? And what are you doing here? The truth, or I will have your tongue. Of course, of course, your highness. Well, I was seeking the wisdom of the mages of old in these ruins. This was a great school of magic once, and I have studied their history with interest. He strikes me less of a scholar than a thief. Yeah, I think he was hunting for artifacts. So this is our, our rogue character. And why did you leave the order? There was a misunderstanding about some books, see? I borrowed them out of my innate thirst for knowledge, and I must have forgotten to return them. The masters did not look kindly on that, so we parted ways. So you stole from your order, and they expelled you. Where I come from, you pay in blood for this. No need for bloodshed, sire. I'm sure I can be of use to you. I have studied these lands for months, and by the size of your entourage, you are not here by accident. You seek to gain some of the Archmage's treasures and wisdom, I assume. I can help to gain access to Krell's tower. I can show you a way into the hidden catacombs. Can you indeed? Well, show us then, and perhaps we will let you live. Alright, now Dalos must survive, find Krell's tower, we found it. So we're going to move him into it. Just step carefully now. I have found this hidden entrance, but there is a lot of debris and the stairs are unsafe. The dude's name is literally the Trickster. So, a rogue transmuter. Following Dalos' instructions, you enter the ruins of the once mighty tower of Archmage Krell. Making your way through the rubble, you uncover the half-fallen stairway into the catacombs below. Guys, I say Archmage, but I am well aware that sometimes I say Archmage. I won't probably won't do it very much this playthrough. I'll probably just say Archmage. Um, but it's just like mana and mana. They're very interchangeable, and it's kind of just whatever you, however you say it. But I know that it's annoying if I swap back and forth. So I'm just going to say Archmage. Making your way through the rubble, you uncover the half-fallen stairway into the catacombs below. The door to Krell's inner sanctum is protected by strong wards. I will show you, but I have to warn you their magic is strong. So you make your way through a labyrinth of passages and down the winding stairway until you reach a small antechamber. 
A massive stone door lies in front of you with four large glowing runes set into it. What will you do? I didn't try to force the door open. That seems stupid. This is a giant magical tower of like the most powerful sorcerer of all time. Probably can't force the door open. And so I decided to search for clues. And he said, I told you it is protected by powerful magic. But I have discovered a connection the runes have. A magical channel, if you will. It leads out to four of the old colleges that Krell had built around the tower. Maybe we can find some way to break this enchantment there. If not, we are just going to continue to hurt ourselves, and that is pretty painful. The four runes glow dimly in the dark. Below every rune, you can briefly see something shimmer that looks like a white tower. You will need to deactivate the four runes to open the door. Okay. Alright, so now on our mini-maps, we can see these ruins here that have appeared. You can see just how big the map is now. And also, because we've captured Krell's tower, we can now see that we're getting two mana a turn. So we're going to start actually generating mana, which is just awesome. So he's going to get the skill Death Mark, costs one mana, uh, causes all casualties the unit receives to be killed. We'll take that, but mostly because I want to get to Stealth. I'm as elusive as the knight, it says. Uh, the unit can hide and remains hidden in any terrain, we'll take that. And then a tune for 25% magic damage, that'll increase his attack power. He is a ranged character. And that's it. But he levels super quick. He's already almost leveled. Let's move some of our characters down. He needs to move for sure. We're going to summon some wolves as soon as we can. Still think that's a pretty good move. All right, you lot go first. Wow, we can't quite kill them. We're gonna have to do some healing after this. That's okay. We're we're where we need to be right now. Yeah, we can't move that far anyway, so we might as well heal. Now we can head into here and take this shrine. Oh my god, why did you run? Well, we could have gone in there and taken that. Let's make sure they can't rest at least. Okay, that was a case where the ambush was completely detrimental to us. I don't think we have enough ranged over here. I'm going to send these uh, these armored slingers down to come over to this location. I don't like that they get to survive another day and we don't get our speed buff. But guys, this is probably going to be it for today. This was already quite stressful. I, I went like another 40 minutes beyond this before I realized we were nowhere close to finishing. Uh, but this is a good spot. We haven't lost anyone yet. Um, we're starting to generate magic. We found Krell's Tower. We have a clear idea of what our objectives are. Um, we're about to uncover this area here and get ourselves some speed bonuses, which will be awesome. We just have to manage to kill that stupid <laughs> Witch Doctor guy and somehow deal with this Devourer without getting wrecked. So, because we have Slayer here, that's what I think ultimately did the damage for us. This thing has Flesh Eater and a Fast Metabolism. But luckily, thanks to Slayer and the Slingers and the Magic Dam, we're just going to focus everything on it until we burst it down. If he doesn't get any help, we'll be happy. And it shouldn't be that difficult. It's just whenever they're surrounded by weaker stuff, it makes it harder to focus them. And then we'll start going into these Mutated Blood Oaks too and making trades. Uh, you can either trade your items that your people are currently using... Or you can trade, um, you can trade blood, trade HP, and potentially get a positive or negative uh, trait. So one of these things. So when I did it last time, I did it on my berserkers, and I got Pathfinder, which gave them increased movement speed, and everyone else around them plus two movement speed, which is amazing. And then I went into another one with them, and then they got lazy, and they lost movement speed. So I was like, well, <laughs> you win some, you lose some. 
Uh, and I did it one time too where I, there's a third Blood Oak down here. And I traded in a, a gray item and it gave me a green item. So who knows, maybe it just takes the, the item sometimes. I don't know. I don't always know how it works. But it should be interesting for next time. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, look forward to the next one where we take on the Devourer. We uncover the secrets of Krell's Tower. And we hopefully finish up this map. Although this may end up being a three-parter, actually. Whew. Anyway, guys, take care. And as always, I will see you in the next one, y'all. Later.